it's Thursday, June 4th, and we're going to begin chapter 2 of Colossians today when Paul has just told us that he he labors and he strives to accomplish the goal of, of creating or presenting mature believers in Christ. And he says that it's God that works in him mightily to make that happen. But that part of that striving was also uh, emotional and personal, which shows you a, a look at the man Paul, not just a brilliant theologian and a dynamic, um, uh, resilient apostle missionary, but also a man with a, a profound heart, a love for those he was trying to reach and teach and minister to. So in chapter 2 he says, For I want you to know what a great conflict I have for you and those in Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love. There's a lot in that um, phrasing of Paul's statement. And in Paul's day, because news traveled very slowly, there were often rumors that floated around about Paul's condition, Paul's state. Was he arrested? Had he been executed? Or his displeasure or anger or frustration with some group because Paul certainly expressed and uh, some of his letters were very um, confrontational in terms of correcting and proper beliefs. But he said, I want you to know that I, my heart is broken. I, I struggle with the idea that believers like you in Colossae and in Laodicea who haven't seen me in a long time don't know my welfare, don't know my state, and you're worried about things, and, and I want you to be strengthened in your heart. He said that your hearts would be encouraged. And then he added that phrase, being knit together in love. Part of the great power and the great um, strength of the Christian community is the horizontal bonding. We are all bonded to the Father through the Son, Jesus Christ, and sealed by the Holy Spirit. That is our vertical relationship. But we are also bound to one another, which is why the writer of Hebrews tells us to not forsake the assembling of yourselves together. How important that is, because we are bound together. There's a love tie that binds us even if it sometimes it gets greatly stressed or we get aggravated. Well, Paul says, I, I want you people in Laodicea and Colossae and, and that whole region to know that I long for you and my heart aches for you. I desire to be a blessing and to encourage you. Uh, Pedercletos, the same word we get the word, um, an, another name for the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the helper. He wants to encourage their hearts. On any given day, I would assume that every one of us has somebody in our lives that could be encouraged that day. Ask God to open up your hearts and minds to those around you who you could be an encouragement to. You know, often you and I go through a day and we are the ones looking for encouragement. And there's nothing wrong with that. God designed us to need one another. But if that encouragement does not come, or if you don't recognize it, it's a rival from someone else. It can leave you in despair and fatigued and exhausted that no one seems to really care about you. Instead, turn that around and see who do you care about and encourage somebody else because you can accomplish that. Nothing can stop you from doing that other than your lack of effort or a lack of um, awareness of the opportunity that's before you or being so self-absorbed that you can't extend yourself outside of your own discomfort and pain. Let us seek to encourage others today the way Paul did. He wanted to encourage the Colossians, the Laodiceans, and all those believers who hadn't seen his face but had been hearing things and wondering how he was doing and wondering what would happen if he ever dies. Imagine that uncertainty. There are people in your life who might count on you. Let them know you love them, you're praying for them, and encourage them today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful privilege we have to be connected to each other, as trying and as that might be at times and as difficult as it might seem. We thank you that we are a family bound together to you and bound together to one another so that we can function as a, an effective body. I pray for each one of us today, you'll open up our eyes to whom we can bless, uh, a heart that we can encourage somebody we can invest faith and love and grace and peace into today. And may we all be sensitive to that, open to that, as we go through this day. 
For we ask that in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Tomorrow's Friday. I hope you're making your plans to be in church on Sunday at 10 o'clock. Be sure and wear a mask if you feel comfortable doing so. And um, it'll be optional. And let's show whatever we can in terms of our respect for one another. But the comfortability is a factor. And we want to be comfortable with one another. So come as you are. Let's have a great service.